Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome to the West Auburn High School class of 2023 graduates. I would ask if you would go ahead and silence your cell devices at this time as we prepare for our graduates to enter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the West Auburn class of 2023.
graduates be seated. 2023. At this time, please stand and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem. At this time, for our tribal acknowledgement, followed by our Juneteenth statement, I'd like to invite to the podium James Sheldon and then Chance Thomas. My name is Jimmy Sheldon. I'm an enrolled Muggle Street Tribal member, and this is a little because it's recorded, but I've never done one of these before, and it's interesting. So, good afternoon, West Auburn graduates, families, and friends. I am honored to share our district's land acknowledgement. The Auburn School District has, hold up, <laughs> exists on indigenous land just as our schools and offices along the Green and White Rivers. So did the the small Kalmish, Stakalmish, and Skopamish, and other indigenous people who lived in places like the large village of Elasco, Seuss Creek, and Burns Creek. We acknowledge the ancestral homelands of the descendants of those who became the Muggle Sudanian tribe, who were the original caretakers of this land, keeping the balance and beauty for thousands and thousands of years. We are grateful to respectful, respectfully live and work as guests on these lands with the descendants and members of the Muggle Sudanian tribe who have called this land home since time immemorial and forevermore. This land acknowledged Thank June 19th, 1985 was the day that started it all. The start of what you ask? It was the start of the black culture, the music, the food, the hair, the style, the confidence we now have to be unapologetically black. Two years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, the slaves of Galveston, Texas finally received words, word that the war was over, they were free. Now, over 165 years later, we are finally able to celebrate this occasion as an official holiday. Juneteenth is a huge milestone on our journey towards a more perfect union. Now we come together at our homes, churches, backyards, and restaurants to celebrate the enduring promise of our country that all of us are created equal. Juneteenth is a day to find light in the darkness, a day to count our blessings, a day to hold our loved ones a little bit closer. But we, are st we still aren't done yet. This is just the beginning.
Thank you, James. Thank you, Chance, for those acknowledgments and that statement. At this time, I'd like to uh, introduce the dignitaries that are on stage with me. We have the school board, Director Gonzalez, Director Timer, Director Arnold, Dr. Holman, and Director McLaughlin. Also joining us on stage is our superintendent, Dr. Spachati, and our incoming principal, Andrea Love. <laughs> a little bit about West Auburn. West Auburn is a great place for students, as you know. Uh, parents and guardians, what I want you to hear today is that we have been honored to serve your students, and they are a sense of pride for us as they are going to walk across the stage in just a few moments. We have several different programs here at West. Uh, we have programs that are online, programs that are in person. We have a hybrid program that's a little bit of both. Uh, our speaker today is coming from the hybrid program. We're very honored that she's going to be speaking to us. Uh, her name is Abigail Guerrero. Please welcome her at this time to the podium. kind of scary. Um, <laughs> hi. Good afternoon, family, friends, staff, and West Auburn graduates. My name is Abigail Guerrero, a proud Mexican-American. Like myself, every graduate on this stage has a story and a reason as to why they are here, whether it's negative or positive. Many people and other school thinks West Auburn is, school, is a school filled with troubled kids. From my personal experience, I could tell you that West is filled with opportunity. Our teachers and counselors are what I would call trusted adults. They may be the only one telling students that they are proud of them. There are specific staff I'd like to give a big thank you to. They have been here with me throughout my journey. Ms. Peter, Ms. Okada, Mr. Will Banks, Dr. Liliord, our counselor, Ms. Anderson, and someone who I'll be love and adore, Ms. Bobby. I would like to recognize the students who, like myself, worked in the hybrid academy independently to earn their high school diploma and are joining me on the stage today. Maria, Santi, Aaron, Keegan, Jimmy, Lexi, Kira, and Easton. We are proud of each other's journeys, and I'm so proud of you guys. Many people have asked me what pushed me to be able to do this speech. Like many of the graduates here today, I have been doubted by people, talked about behind my back, and said as a quote unquote, don't be like her child. Through those doubts, I have overcome and showed that I am way better than the standard they had for me. My inspiration comes from proving people wrong and setting a higher standard for myself and my siblings. Para mi familia, gracias por estar aquí. To my siblings, Miki and Marelli, I love you guys more than anything in this world. You guys are my rock and my lifelong besties. No matter where I go or where I am in life, I will always play my role as an older sister. I dedicate earning this diploma to you. Y a mis padres, gracias por su paciencia y su ayuda durante todos estos años. Los desacuerdos nos han hecho más fuertes. Los lo logré gracias a ustedes. Siempre los voy a tener cerca, cerca de mi corazón. Gracias por, gracias por confiar en mí. Los amo. <laughs> Graduating class of 2023, we are first generation, kids to immigrant parents, or simply high school students who needed a better setting, a better school setting. Whatever brought us to West Auburn, it, had, it has made us who we are, we made it, and I am here to say I'm proud of you. That's a word some of us may have not heard often. Loved ones, I encourage you to tell your students how proud you are of them. No matter how long it took us, we all had the same goal and have worked so hard to get to this point. However, it doesn't stop now. Follow the path designed for yourself. Don't hold back because of other people's opinions or expectations. Take a leap and take chances, even if it means being selfish. The graduates you see here are going off to college to study journalism, child psychology, 
auto mechanics, or learn how to start a business. Others are going into trades for culinary arts, cosmetology, plumbing, or becoming a, a barber. Some have inter interests such as musical production and retail management. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, remember the struggles we've overcome, stay on your grind, and continue to give everything you want your best. Where we go, up to, where we go now is up to us. We are a class of 2023, congratulations. Nicely done, Abigail, thank you so much. Before I speak to the class of 2023, there are two important groups I would like to recognize. First, to the parents, guardians, extended families, my most heartfelt thank you and congratulations to you today. It is you that provided the love and support, encouragement and discipline which guided your graduate from child to young adult and from dependence to independence. You, as the parents, guardians, extended families, need to be recognized. Class of 2023, please join me in a round of applause for your loved ones. <laughs> the second group of people that need to be recognized are the uh, teachers and support staff uh, at West Auburn. They do an amazing job each and every day to ensure that your graduates are on the stage today. Uh, West Auburn, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Uh, we have, if you look at the back of your program, we have several people that this is their last graduation. Uh, myself, one, uh, I forgot to introduce myself, Michael Robinson, principal. Um, if I ever have another uh, long career, I'll remember to do that at the end. Uh, but I want to recognize two very special people who are retiring this year. If Marcy Anderson and Shelley Costin, where are you? And there's Marcy back there. Thank you, thank you for your service. My message to the senior class, I want to personally congratulate each and every student in the class of 2023 for making it to the finish line and accomplishing your K-12 journey. For some of you, it was a struggle, but you made it. For others, it was easier. What I can tell you now is that all of you in just a few short minutes, we'll be crossing that stage and we'll be graduates and we'll be starting a fresh start in your life's journey. I wanted to start this with a quote, a quote that talks about choices. It says, remember the choices we make today shape the people we become tomorrow. Whether you realized it or not, we go through about 35,000 choices on average a day each adult, to whether you're putting on your shoes or what pair of shoes you're putting on to what clothes you're wearing. 35,000 choices in a single day. It's those choices that you make each and every day, both positive and negative, that will determine how your life ends up. George Bernard Shaw said, life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. You create your life by the choices you make every single day. The difference between a great life and a mediocre one is based on how many choices you make every day that are deliberate, that are positive, that are brave. How many are you taking in the direction that you want your life to go? What if every decision you made daily was a positive choice? What if you were conscious and deliberate about making those choices each and every day? Can you imagine what a different, a difference your life would be in one year, in five years, in 10 years, if every decision you made was good and was a positive choice? Circumstances and events do not control your life what you decide to do with what happens controls your life. Your choices control your life. 
You decide if you will pick up the phone and make that call. You decide if you won't. You must face the consequences of both those decisions. You decide if you will quit at the first sign of struggle, but you also decide if you won't. You decide if you're going to settle or if you're going to refuse to settle. You're going to make the decision each and every day if you're going to be more, more than what you are right now, more than what you were yesterday. It's your decision. Declaring your more every day is a decision. It is you who will be deciding that you'll control your life. It's you who will decide to commit to becoming the greatest version of yourself. It's you who will choose to be more, choose to live a big life. I challenge you, class of 2023, don't hide in the shadows. Don't just blend in with the background. Choose to be more in life. Think about compound effect of money. If you invest money in a high interest return account over time, you receive compound interest. That is interest on top of interest. This process is also true of the choices you make every day. I often tell, told students when they come into my office when I was an assistant principal, when you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. Bad choices we know quickly can spiral out of control. Bad relationships, the people we choose to be around. But this is also true of good choices. If you are conscious and make good choices every day, those choices lead to better opportunities, better results, and they compound upon each other to bring you a better life. It's really just that simple. It takes character that most don't have to live a life most will never know. I believe all, all of you, class of 2023, West Auburn High School, have such a character. Use it to make good choices. 35,000 choices. Decide to say no to average. Decide not to be small. Decide you are more than what has been given you by the world so far and commit to growth each and every day. 35,000 choices. I heard in an old, old book, it says, do what's right, be kind, walk with humility. Out of your 35,000 choices, I'm gonna ask the class of 2023 each and every day just to make three choices. Do it every day, do what's right. Do what's right when people are watching and when they're not. Act justly. Be kind. Give someone a smile. Say a kind word to someone. I heard someone say, it's just nice to be nice. And then finally, when you make it, when you're a success, when you've climbed the ladder, whatever ladder that is you want to climb, because it will happen, remember where you came from and be humble. In closing, class of 2023, you're an awesome class. Now go forth and do great things. Thank you. Go Wolves. I'd like to invite Dr. Spachati to the podium at this time. You can give him a hand. Superintendent Spachati, I hereby certify that each student before you has met all the graduation requirements set forth by the Auburn School District and the State of Washington. It is a pleasure to present to you the 30th graduating class of West Auburn High School, the class of 2023. All right. Well done, my friends. Congratulations. Before I share my brief remarks, I'd like to take a moment to thank Principal Robinson for his service to West Auburn High School and to the Auburn School District. For two decades, he served his country. For two more, he has served our children. As a leader, you hope to leave a place better than you found it. 
And we can unequivocally say that for Principal Robinson, and the best evidence we have is that the largest graduating classes in West Auburn history have been his last several years. So let's please join me in congratulating and thanking Principal Robinson. All right, I think you're two minutes away from getting your diplomas, so I'll go fast here. Uh, good afternoon, I am Dr. Alan Spichotti, the proud superintendent of the Auburn School District. Before I begin, I would like to thank the incredible staff of West Auburn High School. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. In a few minutes, you will all be graduates. But until then, like any good teacher, I'm going to teach to the bell. Here are the last three lessons you will receive from the Auburn School District, and yes, there will be a test. Lesson one, keep learning. Whatever path you choose in life, your opportunities will be based on your skills. Don't settle for what you know today. Invest in yourself. If you don't know what you're doing next year, consider enrolling in Green River College. It's nationally ranked, it has academic and technical programs, and it's just three miles away. So keep learning and develop your potential. Lesson two, the parents usually like this one. Before you open your first credit card, talk to somebody at least 10 years older than yourself. Ask what to do and what not to do. Every adult has made a mistake with credit or they know someone who has. Learning from the mistakes of others is one of the greatest gifts we have. But too many young people put their dreams on hold just to get out of debt. So be smart with your credit and 10 years from now, tell a new high school graduate how you did it. My final lesson is to make a difference in the life of others. Be a good neighbor, help people you know. Help people you do not know. Be a good tipper and a great one when you can afford it. Help children, help the elderly, practice empathy, volunteer, give to charity. The truth is every time you give, you receive more in return, so make a difference. That's your final lesson. Keep learning, talk about credit, make a difference in the lives of others. I said there would be a test, and of course it's the biggest test you will take I'm talking about life, and you are ready to ace it. Let's give the class of 23 one more round of applause. And now, on behalf of the Auburn School Board and by the power invested in me by the state of Washington, Principal Robinson, I hereby accept the West Auburn High School Class of 2023 as graduates of the Auburn School District. Congratulations. I'm going to invite the school board to come forward so we can hand out some diplomas. Yes. Director McLaughlin. Abigail Guerrero. <laughs> Kira Tangle. <laughs> Maggie Roman. Maggie. 
Haley Mounts. Chris Rothenbuehler. Haley Walker. <laughs> Trenton Miller. <laughs> Jimmy Sheldon. <laughs> Adam Jake. <laughs> Cruz Aragon. Valentine Osorio. Alma Torres. Chloe Iverson. Ana Becerra. Avelino Espina. Keegan Meredith. Easton Vaughn. Luis Samora Martinez. Cameron Sasagi. Lena Mayberry. <laughs> Flourish Maxiel. <laughs> Kiki Butler. <laughs> Kayla Chan. <laughs> Lacey Seas. Beck Derringer. Noemi Anaya Mendoza. Santiago Espinosa Cisneros. Alexis Smith. Ayana Fisher. Michael Hernandez Arguelles. Aaron Fossey. Malachi Sadler. Presley Lane Pierce. Jones. <laughs> Atna Lome. <laughs> Taulegalo Leilani Tipale Lupe Galovale Pasitale. <laughs> Chance Thomas. Maria Campos. Andrew Williams. Crystal Barrera. Class of 2023.
for our senior farewell, Adam Jake. Hi everyone, my name is Adam Jake. I just want to give a big congratulations to West Auburn's class of 2023. We made it. To my fellow graduates, can you please stand? Stand. <laughs> <laughs> and on the count of three, turn your tassel to the left. One, two, three. I can't officially graduate you until you toss your hats. On three, one, two, three. Another round of applause for the class of 2023. So just to some last second instructions, once again, congratulations to our graduates, to you, the family members and loved ones, congratulations to you. Our graduates are going to be uh, going and exiting along this wall and greeting their uh, staff members at West. We're going to ask that you quietly uh, exit out the back and greet your graduate in the foyer. Thank you for coming. We appreciate your support. Can we have our song, please?